everyone I'm here for more Slate Aspire and I'm feeling is, is it is it ironclad time? It's ironclad or defect time. I think it's ironclad time. I had some defect runs. I think we did defect recently. Well we'll, we'll try ironclad anyway. He's my favorite my favorite boy. Transform one HP curse for some money. So I love burning blood, it keeps me alive. Is that curse for two fifty? We don't have a shop. Where's we don't have an early shop? I carry that curse with us for a while if I go that route. Uh, if I just go, uh, just shop up here, but I'll go through some fights for it. What else? We can just transform a card. We could transform a card and then hope to high roll into a good transformation. We don't do that often enough. Let's give it a shot. Emily is a good, that's a good thing. I would call that a high roll. It's a, it's a fine card to get. I think we're going up that left route. Didn't actually calculate if that's <laughs> the best route. Um, one, two, one. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's fine. That bash isn't. We can take one damage. We have uh, uh, burning blood for a reason. Hoo! Close line flex second win. Exhaust all non talk. We don't. We don't really second win very often. Uh, gain a little bit of strength. We have an AOE now, so the gain strength has more value. Ouch. Alright, it's a simple fight against this little jaw Jawa worm. I do have some attacks here. Okay. That was gonna draw any attacks for a second. Pummel, we have extra strength. So yeah, I'll take a pummel. We have some sort of deck coming coming through. To be honest, I'm not hundred percent sure what it is, but there, there, there's something here. Oh, one times four. Lucky me. Uh, charge, free damage, only a daze. That's much better. Reckless charge is pretty good now. We can get a little bit of a uh, card draw with it or some. I think I'll take or vulnerable. I think I take a reckless charge. Just kill a draw in the future though. We don't have a lot of card draw yet. Could go for more card draw. I want to go for Reckless Charge and hope it doesn't end up being that much of a problem. I love Omomori. So let's just be very aggressive about taking curses, and taking curses is fun. It's a fun thing to do. I'm going to let you hit me because I want to strike you as hard as I can to kill you before you run away with all my money. Spot Weakness, that's more strength, and Spot Weakness can end up being a lot of strength. Let's upgrade a card. Emulates a lot more damage, flex more strength, you're more damage. Spot weakness is more strength, which is more damage to all of our cards that turn we play that. So this is turning out to be kind of a strength? Uh, a strength build? So we just bash you. Until you're almost dead. Maybe you should use a skill potion there, so I can discover a skill. Why did I, why did I do that at zero energy? I, hmm, I was so excited about, I should use the last turn that I, it does cost zero, but it was, yeah, I guess I forgot it cost zero because it showed the cost. I just freaked out and forgot for a very important second that the skills from the potion cost zero. Not a very good card that didn't cost zero. I'm sorry, that was, another, I don't think that was a critical, um, moment in the uh, run. Alright, last time we take 9 damage. Did take a, a little bit extra damage in this fight though. Extra belt space, extra potion space, I mean. Not belt space. Hey, we're going to strength build. We want a heavy blade in here. I think I do want to heal. Wow, how much damage we got here? We do have an extra fight, so I do want to heal. We have an extra elite fight up there. Ancient T set, not exciting. All right, let's wake you up. We have a decent chance. I think I actually want to bash pummel, and then we can heavy blade. Heavy blade later once we have a little bit extra strength off spot weakness. 
which is letting us hit pretty hard. Should have maybe dropped an attack potion there as well. Oh, I have the extra strength. Can drink an attack potion. Should we bludgeon first? Oh, no, we heavy blade. That'll do more than 32. It did actually just 32. So it didn't matter. 32, 27, and 12, which isn't 14, so we'll need to block next turn and be able to kill him. Alright, not a half bad fight. An attack card to always be in hand. Uh, we don't have vulnerabilities, although vulnerability with a lot of extra strength wouldn't be terrible, but we don't, we're, not, we're not really going that way. An attack immolate. We always have immolate in our hand. That way we always have an AoE to open up with, like a strong AoE. Maybe that's the play. It's not something we do super often. I think we take it. <laughs> hey, perfect. Perfect opportunity to use it. Mm, Sword Boomerang's pretty good with extra strength. I'll throw in a Sword Boomerang. We're getting our decks getting kind of choked, though. We gotta be careful. Alright, two guys at 9 HP. Not a particularly rough fight. And we lose a strength. Random attack for. We get that to zero because a little bit of card draw. Getting a lot of attacks. Getting a lot of cards in here kind of. Um, taking up a lot of space. I do like this arm. It always seems so slow. So slow. Such a slow card. In which case, I'm going to skip it. Go to our shop. Shop, what do you have for me? Ooh. No, because we have one more. He's going to block that off in a way. Fiend Fire, I really like. I actually really like hand drill. So I'm just going to take hand drill. We could also take trip, and then we can go for some drop kicks. Lots of vulnerability with extra strength is not bad at all. Alright, let's go for... So it's a vulnerability strength strategy. That's not exactly something we've tried a lot. Let's see if it works. You are... Alright. We've made each other very angry here. I'm mad, he's mad. Everyone's very upset, but he's also gone. Uh, Offering's just a fantastic card. Thunderclap, well, it kind of goes with our build, but Offering's just really, really strong. I'm taking Offering. Go beat up the slime boss. But, <laughs> immolate pummel opening. Um, should drink our strength potion. Not drinking that for Pummel was obviously a mistake. He's not attacking here, which is a shame. We do have this explosive potion ready, in case I can't split him in time. Okay, yeah, gain strength. He's already pretty vulnerable. We can just make him more vulnerable. That doesn't hurt. Alright, he's actually... Dead. <laughs> like, they're, they're dead. There's no way I can't kill him, yeah, alright. Yeah, it's a good fight. Limit break. Kind of what I was hoping for. We get some extra strength. Choose to add five cards. Elites drop an additional relic. It's the first boss. I think I do want Black Star. We go for some extra elites. Or just go for a regular number of elites, I suppose. Could I not have afforded to remove a card from our deck? I realize I still have all these trash cards in here. Which this deck really could use a little bit of thinning out. We're already at 20 cards. I need elite fights to take advantage of this black star. But I'm not seeing a lot of elite fights, especially not ones that are that I would consider safe to, to pursue. Um, let's go this way, maybe run to a shot. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Let's go for it. Alright, uh easy twenty-two damage. Let's let's gain some block there. Let's block one of those. So only take 10 damage. Much more comfortable taking 10 damage. If I offering, you'll also be dead, and I don't take a hit, I just take the offering damage. Armaments I like and gives us some um, block. Metal size also block we could use. Armaments we can upgrade and then upgrade the rest of our cards to the upgraded armaments, which is a strategy I 
frequently like taking. That really messed up his plated armor. And that'll mess up my plated armor, so I'm just gonna not take Essence of Steel. And let's try to... Nah, nah let's be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. It's a strength build, after all. Could use a little extra healing or something, though. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be terrible. Would be the worst thing ever. Another spot weakness? There might be a lot of spot weakness. We get so much strength, though. Let's go for it, with the, especially with the double strength. Alright. Probably be a good fight to use explosive potion. Cool. Now take twelve. We are starting to get hit. Not a very, not a lot of defense flying around here. But they do do so much damage. Cleave, I really want that AoE damage. Now we have to stop just shoving every random card in here. It's not gonna work. Uh, I need some more damage. We can't armament the trip to burn some artifact from them both. And it's just a strength potion. That's fine. And then that doesn't do anything. No, no, it doesn't do anything. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, in turn. Unfortunate time, did not have any strength to limit break. Didn't want him hitting me. That time. Heavy blade upgrade with extra strength, absolutely get in here. I just need to heal. This isn't uh, going well. 23, 20, 40 each. Obviously, 20, 40 each. Or I gain just 11 and then gain a little bit of block. Which I might rather actually do that play. Hmm. Ooh, we're in trouble. That doesn't exhaust my armaments. It. But I'm not worried about that. Just keep healing, and now neither of you are attacking. You're vulnerable though. Let's draw some cards. Be half did. You're actually did. Now let's attack you. We have to go heal after this. Okay, just too slow of a deck, huh? Power through at least gives me some uh, block. I can go for this and then the heal and avoid the elite fight entirely. That seems kind of weak. Let's see what what happens after here. This could be interesting. With a lot of strength. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna heal up instead of taking advantage of our black star. Cause what a that did not turn out to... It just didn't work out. Pantograph is great. Find some potions. Yes, please. Okay, now let's go fight this elite. Let's go through here. Maybe not take damage. Yes, we'll take a relic. That's not going to apply because we just take too much damage all the time. Alright, spot some weakness. We... Immolate the group of them. 16 damage doesn't kill any. 26 does kill that one. And we end the turn take a bunch of damage. Ugh. Just no defense. Yeah, arm it's the defense. I can defend, not taking damage, we'll gain a little bit more strength. Kind of unnecessarily because we have just so much strength. Take five, or I take two. We don't need to take five. We'll just take a very disappointing two. 
And then st make hit him for 33. None of these are good enough. Shop. We have 156. Yes. I was actually thinking about just removing a card, but the way this is going, Red Skull is going to be great. And I, let's go hard for more. Let's just go hard in this. Gain strength. Immolate the whole squad down. Hit him. I have to gain a little bit of armor. Even though he's just gonna he's just gonna drain that, isn't he? I'm just so scared of getting that low. If I can upgrade at least one of these defends the rest of the combat, and then heavy blade him for 66 damage. Ritual dagger. It doesn't say if it permanently kills a non. Let's find out. I mean, usually those things uh, do mean that minion enemies don't count. But I was curious. He's going to kill me. Wow, he's actually just going to kill me. Wasn't what I wanted. Okay, we ooh, got through. Skip these. Although applying weak wouldn't be the worst thing ever. I don't think we're gonna get past the champ. Apply vulnerable. Let's drink our dexterity potion. Let's be very defensive. I forgot we have pantograph, honestly. So we're in relatively much better shape. Fourteen times four is not a bad turn. All he hits me for twelve. I didn't drink my angel potion. Drink it now. Uh, sad. Okay. Spell weakness. We'll hit him with the reckless charge. Heavy blade him. Sword boomerang. Don't even throw up the defense. Just, just try to kill him before he kills you. We gain more strength. There, sixteen strength it is a lot of strength. All right, maybe virtual dagger was still bad, even with all this strength. We haven't killed anyone with it because I figured with the extra strength, it does more damage right off the bat, makes it easier to kill things, and then that would make it easier to ramp up its damage. Double taps probably good. Demon form. <sighs> The Inform works because it's such a strength folks deck, but we're already so slow, I don't think we can afford to handle Demon Form. Canonger Smith, we're not really smithing. We have an unused Omomori, so it's calling bell time. We have one curse. And otherwise, the Titanium Puzzle, okay. Curse cards now can now be played, so that negates the curse anyway. And healing is more effective during combat. We have no in combat heals. So, not, a, <laughs> not an exciting calling bell. Hmm, how do I get through? How do I get through? How do we get through well? I go up this way. Yeah, it seems like a good path. Is there a shop down here? Yeah, okay. Spot the weakness. Let's get a random attack card in here. He's already vulnerable, so he has to get that free energy. Back up to three. Can Armist Ritual Dagger? That's Ritual Dagger upgrade. Here's damage by four. We're not going to be killing him with it this turn. Do I just gain more block? I think I just gain more block and I strike him. We only take three damage. And I'm chill, only taking three damage. We flex. Continue to spot weakness. Nine strength. And we pummel him for 44 damage. And sword of boomerang him for a, 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 so much damage. Hey, I forgot magic flower does combine burning blood. does count as in combat. Upgraded twin strikes fine because we have that, so much strength. We have too many attacks, so we have too many. It's just not. Our deck's too full. Too much junk in the trunk of our deck. Let's 
so I think we remove one, or we just get rid of block. Then we just remove a strike. Too much junk floating around this deck. Alright. Spot weakness. Spot weakness. Offering. To a trip. Into a... Let's just... Don't play the DK. Don't be... The DK? The Donkey Kong? Don't play the... Yeah, just don't play it. Be... be, be smarter than that. It's 28. It's not going to kill anyone. Versus I can just... Knock one out with the Heavy Blade. Which does make me need to play the DK. Let the Ascenders main exhaust itself. Why are you guys attacking me so much? Now I need my... Def definitely love my Immolate back. That's nice. I'll just crush them. Cool. Yeah, I still, I still think. Uh, Thundercloud's good. Dual wield is... Fine, but I don't think I can fit it in here. Vitalicide is also fine. I don't think I can fit it in here. Red Mummified Hand. Oh, that'd be so good. Let me skip these. Oh yeah, I think Ritual Dagger. Still not good. Not working. Give me that. Oh, let me start weak. Yes, please. Good save is a little bit of HP. Fight a boss for a rare relic. You can longer heal, which oh, no, definitely don't want that. Curse Normality. Oh, we don't have our shop here. I didn't remove the curse. Why did I not remove the curse? I removed a strike instead of the curse. I've done that before when I have a, a long deck that I forget what's in it. There's a... Uh, we might have money for that. We'll try. Hello... Tier 1 boss. Alright. Okay. I deal with the sharp hides. Oh, greater double tap does the combat. Uh, flex, the limit break, and then bash and apply vulnerable. I then actually don't attack him just to avoid taking additional thorns damage. There. Hey, hey, thank you, boot. Squeezing out that five damage. That that bonus damage. Did a lot of damage against this this boss. Like way too much damage. Could I have just killed him? Probably could have just killed him, couldn't I? Turn on longer become frail. Dropkick. I kind of want to dropkick because I have a lot of vulnerability in this deck, so I'll take a dropkick. Shrug it off's also good. It's some block that gives us draw. But I'll take dropkick. Oh, I have another elite fight. Oh, I might die here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Not a terrible opening. I forget what. Negative de wait, he just does he add card? I forget what negative effect he has on me. Burns, okay. Well, they are effects useless then, but I just forgot what he did to me. Uh, we want to armaments our power through. Bought some weakness while we're at it and gain enough block to not die. A drop kick coming right up. Oh, it does, of course, uh, affect the strength decrease from. Uh, flex. A ritual blade finally increasing damage. More strength. Do I even need more strength? Or like as a power versus just skill cards that way floating around? I don't think so. Yeah, I think we skip it. That's just going to be taking up some very valuable room in our deck. Uh, 
Without weakness. Immolate the whole pile of them. And then... Get through your vulnerability, or your artifact. Now he's vulnerable. We definitely need offering here. Gives us a bunch of cards. We flex. We spot weakness. Limit break. And double tap. And then we hit him with the double ritual dagger. Which only with one shot some anyway. Or a sword boomerang. A head butt is very good. And get angry. Having a huge anger deck. Ah, no, we don't have a, a way to cycle through it. Never mind. So mad for you to move that curse. Although it's not, I guess, is with blue candle, it's not that big of a deal. We lose one HP, which we haven't been hit yet. Actually, those trigger Centennial Puzzle. It's not the worst time to forget to remove a curse out of your deck. What would I headbutt back in? Limb break if it was upgraded. Offering if I hadn't played it, like double tap. Headbutt's also a little extra damage. I think you're gonna justify a headbutt. And yeah, let's, let's let's upgrade limb break then. That way I can cycle it through with headbutt and just get tons of damage. Yeah, let's go crazy. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford to remove this curse. Which is fine, I'll just have an unnecessary curse. Give me some card draw. Give me more card draw. This is really not what I was looking for for card draw. Okay, well, we cleave him. Get him that free sword boomerang. Heavy blade you. I think I have to reckless charge. Bash to keep you vulnerable. And then power through his hunting and damage. Still not an elegant fight. Definitely not an elegant fight. That's a very awkward hand. Maybe we got a little too too cute with our deck setup. Cleave and Heavy Blade upgrade is great. Uh, Blood for Blood is going to be doing lots of damage. Yeah, I'll take a Blood for Blood. I'm going to heal. Well, Pandagraph takes up full HP. I can't afford to remove a card. Five random potions. No, obviously can't afford that. Mind Blast would be great in this deck. But of course we can't afford anything other than armaments, which I can use to like armaments or armaments potentially. Who's our boss? Donu Deca. So it seems to be Donu Deca a lot lately. Donu Deca can be a long fight. Probably not though, we get hit a lot. Uh shrug it off. Armaments. I don't think we're gonna armaments armaments with a big deck. You know, we have a big enough deck, just take the cheap card. Maybe you should have just bought a potion instead of buying any cards. Come here. We smith. What do I smith? The emulate? The offering? Maybe the offering. Or the double tap. Or just the armaments that you're just talking about. How you should upgrade it so you can do yeah, it. Yeah, obviously. Alright, here here we go. Can I get some more strength gain? Did not get more strength gain. Other than that. Double tap cleave. But now I take 30 damage. Pardon, 27 damage. Which is a lot of damage. Alright. Not going super well. <laughs> we get some more strength though. We're almost there. Sender's Bane, come on. You're killing draws at real bad times. Oh no. Yeah, we don't have any, we just don't have
Ugh. Can't kill Decca. He's going to kill me. I can't block enough to not get killed by Decca. And I can't make him vulnerable. Sad, we just had a really crowded deck. I guess I make him. I can make him vulnerable. I trip him, that lets you drop kick him. And I think that's our best. It only puts on top, of course, doesn't actually play the card. He's dead. What? He was evil. He was dead. He's dead. We actually did survive. I was mistaken. Because where to go? This early the hand drill. That was that he was vulnerable because he broke through his block, thus triggering hand drill. So he did survive that. But now we're dead again, right? Or am I actually just about to kill him? We have so much. He's dead. Yeah, he's just dead. Wow. I I was positive we're done. Hand drill saved us so hard. Wow, we did it! We beat the game! <laughs> we Woohoo! Ironclad's done! Wow, that was a really aggressive uh, build, too. That was all strength, a little bit of block, but just a lot of strength and vulnerability, and obviously those two work together to just ramp up our damage exponentially. Not a super graceful run, especially been a couple times we, didn't, we should have died and didn't. We should have sold our, not sold, uh, removed our curse, and then I blanked for a second. It was like, get these basic cards out of my deck, when, of course, we had a curse floating around. Fortunately, we had blue candles, so it's not the worst time. Like I said, it's not the worst time for you to move a curse out of our deck. And then we got lucky, and I'm glad I picked up that early hand drill. I knew that hand drill was a good relic, and it definitely saved us there, because I was about to die, and I did not have enough damage to kill him until I broke through his block, uh, talk about Decca, and triggered the vulnerability, which then ended up them being slain and i completely forgot about that forgot about hand drill it's a new relic give me a break it's a newish relic uh it's like only my second or third time having it and we had a string of relics there so yeah great yeah <laughs> it's a good run i'm happy uh challenge level 15 max level completed with the ironclad so now probably gonna give ironclad a bit of rest he can be uh, take a take a take a temporary retirement while we finish up the silent and the defect and then we will have I suppose won the game. We'll probably still play it because it's one of my favorite games. It's such a good game. Um, but we also have tons of other stuff to play. But I'm, oh, I'm so I'm so stoked. This is great. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like, join the video, subscribe for more fun with your studies. I'll see you guys next time. Your obscure compliment is that you'd be you'd you'd be very strong. I was trying to think of a clever way to say that, like limit breaks. But I'm like, no, nah, it seems angsty. Uh, maybe something with flexing, nah, it, nah, it's spotting weakness, no, because there's all strength things in the game, but then you translate them to some sort of, like, real life the compliment, wasn't really working. So, yeah, stay strong, how about that, live strong, except don't abuse drugs. Have you seen the documentary? Go on Netflix, go watch Icarus, and there's, like, three other doping documentaries, which, of course, on Netflix, you watch one, or recommend others to you. Yeah, go watch some of that. And then I'll make up your own. I'll see you later.